So COP21 is the United Nations Climate Summit which takes place in Paris at the end of 2015. The narrative to Paris is how are we going to share opportunities, how are we going to share solutions. Following the EU's headline agreement of at least a 40% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030, what challenges and opportunities do we face in meeting that target? Two magic words at least are really important. It means that we have not legally um, constrained our negotiators to low ambition. So the setting of the targets is critically important to set that long-term signal so that industry can respond to it. We're going to see a shift in focus from the worrying about what happens to the high carbon business to looking at all the opportunities for the low carbon business. Well, if we're going to bring down the cost of renewables, if we're going to bring up the capacity of renewables in Europe, we need to give business as clear a line as it can. We've seen for energy efficiency that we have the intention to have effective and specific measures. But no such plan has been laid out for the other major decarbonisation option, CCS. So we need to take our intention and turn it into that pragmatic po policy which is focused on outcome to drive the change, secure our futures and have leadership in these essential technologies. What there is a question about, and quite rightly, is whether there is a, the political will to deploy those technologies in time. So the EU and now the US and China have put their pledges on the table. A number of other countries have done as well. If governments come out of this trusting each other, then you can imagine some sort of mechanism being put in place where the pledges are progressively strengthened. There is no way that China and the United States would go over Europe, would be more ambitious than Europe. So whatever Europe does, it sets the standard for the rest of the world. Welcome to Comet Visions. Get involved in the conversation with our panel. Submit your questions via Twitter and continue the discussion online at commentvisions.com.